your efforts in a faster demeanor because you don't want it fucking today, you wanted it yesterday. But you haven't done the work in the last five years to have it and to actually deserve it. So you're trying to get something you haven't fucking deserved yet and using steroids for that reason, you're a fucking asshole, okay? That's where everything's gonna hit the fan. You might look good for a few fucking months and stuff and then it's all gonna get caught up. And you can tell, honestly guys, the guys that are using steroids, and this blog is not about steroids, but look at their disposition, guys. It's off. And you can tell just by looking at their skin and their proportionality of the body if they're on roids with that bloated stomach and everything else. That is not what we're looking for. That's not the attainable physique. That's not what's going to turn people's heads. And if it does, it's like, oh, that's steroids. You know, and then all that work just went out the window with that comment. Like, oh, of course, I can do that if I use steroids too. You get someone that's trim, small waistline, just comes up massive, where he's moving everything on every single motion and a relaxed state or a flex state is tight and looks good. That's a natural physique right there. That's something to aspire to. That's something that's, that, that, that's attainable through hard work and sacrifice. And the beautiful thing is once you obtain that through the hard work and the sacrifice, oh, by the way, guess what else you get? An extra bonus gift called mental toughness confidence. So even though you transform your body naturally and you had this great physique, now all of a sudden you had the demeanor and the mental strength to overcome any fucking thing else. And by the way, by the time you had that body going that process, you probably have a very financial, successful life, a good marriage, or whatever it may be. They go hand in hand as a win-win. When you cut one off or quick, quick, you know, quick return on steroids or something like that, well, what happens on that? When you, what's your back end gift like that? Um, cancer, liver, liver failure. I mean, uh, let, yeah, no, I don't want that one. And drugs and then steroids and other types of, of, of illegal shit. Stuff that you take for a benefit, a temporary satisfaction, right? A quick fix to a long-term problem. There is no quick fix, guys, to a long-term situation. You're getting the, the payment of it right now, which is great, you know? You're getting all that, you're using steroids and you're getting that, that boost, you know, and you're feeling great. But years down the line, all of a sudden, a liver goes out, or the kids so, shut down. So yeah, you're using steroids to get this, this, this great temporary look, so you look great and everything else, you know? And you're loving it, but you haven't paid the price yet. That price is gonna come down the line, and it's gonna be a price that's gonna destroy all the work you've done and maybe even take your life. I don't know if I'm willing to take that, that bet, have that price. Um, either way, you know, steroids is, is a, and I call it, anyone that uses steroids an asshole, and, I, I, and I'm not going back on my word, I think you're a fucking asshole if you're using them. Look at the steroid blog I did, um, the very first one, about a, a mother um, sending a question about her kid um, that wanted, that was starting to use steroids at a young age, at 15 or something. Um, look at that, you understand what I'm talking about. I have lost some very dear and close friends of mine. People that um, are no longer on this earth because they have used steroids. People that had so much potential, so much potential. They wanted it so bad, but they wanted it too fast. So they try to cut the cord, trying to find a, 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 a fix, a short-term fix to a long-term problem. It does not exist. That combination will end deadly, or it will just embarrass you so much when the, when the truth comes out, guys. The only thing that's going to stand the test of time is just a pure, natural, no progression, the marathon, not the sprint, guys, of life. You know, if we can maintain that, obviously that's good because our body's naturally shutting down. But when we put those steroids in our body at an earlier age, we shut down the natural testosterone from our body, natural releases. It doesn't need to. It's coming in, you know, um, inorganically from the third party. So our body's like, why do I need to make this coming in? So then our body's producing more estrogen. And we get out of